Now, many people don't know this, but pawn shops are good for a whole lot more than pawning, which is getting a loan against collateral. You can make a pretty penny by selling your stuff to them, too. In fact, pawnbroker Rudy Gentel of Brothers Collateral Loan says all of the merchandise for sale in here once belonged to somebody else. I deal a lot with people that inherit things they don't want. They don't want to make a Craigslist ad and have people come over to their house to buy it. They don't want to give it to a relative because it's worth more money. So they come to a pawn shop to sell it for cash. So here's the big question. When selling, how do you get the most bang for your buck? Or should we say buck for your bang? Rudy says go in knowing how much your item is worth and don't be shy about asking for that amount. A pawnbroker doesn't think that a person is serious, really, unless he gives them a price. If you want to sell it to me, you have to tell me how much you want. But that doesn't always mean you're going to get that much, and here's why. If they're selling it to a dealer who has to sell it for a profit and who has to figure in all his costs of doing business at the same time, they have to realize they're not going to get what it's worth. They're going to get what it's worth to a dealer. We can pay them what it's worth on a wholesale basis because this business is set up to buy things and sell them. One more tip from Rudy. Before you agree to accept cash for your item, look around the store to see if something captivates you. You might be able to make a trade and leave with a more valuable item than the one you brought in to sell.